What's going on guys? I'm Hype. And I'm Sammy. And we're with the Urban Collab. Right now we're going to be doing an interview on the one and only Dijonet. Yes, from the WNBA team, the Connecticut Sun. Let's get into it. How you doing Good. today? Yeah. I'm great. Great. Awesome, awesome. Ready to go. All right, let's All right, it. we're gonna put you in the hot seat, ask some questions. <laughs> hot seat. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, I, I've been following your Instagram. I see your personal fashion. I think you have some dope style. Um, what really inspires it? Um, I think just comfortability in my body has been the biggest thing for me. Um, as time has gone on, I think, I mean, people see my shirts getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> I think that's my confidence in my body yeah. going higher and higher and higher, you know? Um, and I don't know, I just think that I've always wanted to express myself and use clothing and I mean obviously words, but on the court I think the only thing that like you can really do to separate yourself um, fashion wise is, is like your, your tunnel fits and That's, your pregame drip yeah. and things like that. I mean obviously on the court we all wear the same uniform, different variations, but I think like the pregame tunnel drip is like a big part for me to express myself. Yeah, and so let's talk about that a little bit more. I looked at a lot of your tunnel drip. Yeah. Um, sneakers are a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, so what would you say is your favorite sneaker in your collection, like if you had to pick? Uh, well, uh, let me think, let me think. So my birthday was like a couple weeks ago and I bought myself like six pairs of shoes from her. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Let's, wait, let's hear this lineup. What was in the okay. lineup? I can't even name them all. They're, they're actually sitting at home because half of them came in while I had already left to come here to Connecticut, but these are one of them. That Got was the union. Yeah. And the, the birthday pack. Nice. Um, I'm really liking these right now. Comfortable. I, yeah, I used to be like just ones and just 11, but I think I'm venturing out into fours now okay. and, I'm, and I'm liking it. So for now, I might go with these. Yeah, the I think they're, they're black, like, yeah. The sleek is nice. Yeah, you can wear it with anything. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for sure. a hype sneaker for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna go so this is, gonna, this is gonna bring me into the next question, right? Okay. Now, we hold sneaker conventions, so for us, urban fashion, the drip, making sure that we're really on point with everything, mm -hmm. is big. So, how do you think that influences the WNBA? And when, when it comes to fashion and mm -hmm. everything, how do you think that influences the WNBA? Um, I feel like I have an interesting outlook on it. I think it's something that bridges the gap between all sports, genders, races. I think that fashion and, I mean, shoe culture is something that definitely brings all people together. Um, if you're walking around, you see somebody with some fly shoes, you're likely to compliment them regardless of you Whatever know, their skin is. color, yeah. their sexual orientation, their gender, any of those things. So I think it's something that has really just like brought women's basketball fans from other sports and other communities. Um, I, I think that's how I look at it in my life, yeah. Definitely, definitely, I agree. So, with that being said, if we had to, if we had no money, like if we had all the money in the world, okay, and you could buy any sneaker, like what would be your dream sneaker? Something that you don't have in your collection right yeah, now. Yeah, where you nine or six pairs. Nine or six pairs. Not the birthday pair. No, not the birthday pair. Not the six pairs. Oh man. But like if you could just drop it, drop the bands, but yeah. would be the sneaker. I would probably do. I want all of the off-white collabs with the That's Air what I'm Force talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I want all the colors okay. that I'm okay. talking about with. Like, yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, like, those like are clean. Like a gray chrome color yeah. one, clean. like a neon. I want all of those. That's okay. clean. Yeah, probably, probably go there. Yeah, <laughs> it gotta be a pack of something. Yeah, Virgil. yeah. Something Virgil. Six pack. pack. Yeah, Virgil, <laughs> Virgil, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and with that being said, before we end this, we brought some of our merch that we have mm -hmm. from our event. Um, all of our merch comes in a custom box. So this is the basic t-shirt. It's a nice little white t-shirt, nice and simple. I don't yeah. want to take it out, but um, we wanted to just kind of gift this to you. Thank you. It's a size medium, so. Perfect. <laughs> That's I might, is, if, is there stuff like low down or I can cut the bottom? You can cut it. Swag it up. Swag it up. Yeah. I feel 
like you know for me it just brings out like the femininity i think yeah, yeah sport. And, like, that's a long, and it is a long shirt so it is you don't want to cut it yeah, cut yeah it that's perfect yeah <laughs> swag perfect it out definitely me, you know make it make it me but y'all yeah. too yeah definitely, definitely. <laughs> no. um Love so that. thank you once yeah. again i'm hype and I'm Sammy. And we just did our interview with DJ May. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram. And we also are going to be having our own singer event. And that's going to be June 4th at Mohegan Sun. Um, you yeah, want to talk about it a little crazy. bit? crazy. Yeah. Our last one was a big production. This one's going to be twice the size. We've got a bigger space, the Earth Expo Center. And yeah, we have a lot of people coming out from all over, uh, all the way up to New York, New Jersey. So it should be a really big event. Hopefully we can have you cop out for that. For Hopefully. sure. I know you guys have a game that day though. I'm coming right after. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so everybody, you guys, you guys hear that? that after the guys game. Here. Somebody listen, vendors, come with those off whites. Please come with those off whites. <laughs> yeah, she wants them. So she wants if you them. got them, she's buying them. She wants them. I need a discount though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, resellers, don't try. I'm not don't try don't to get it. No tax. <laughs>